Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Alpha Protocol with me, Grey Hunter, and Mikey. Where we are about to. Thank you, game. Thank you so much. Where we are about to. God damn it, poorly optimized game. Where we were about to head off to Moscow. So let's have a look at our emails. Uh, there's one from Scarlet. Just to remind us that she is indeed still alive. The. Ah, right, the data that we picked up. I think we'll send that to Scarlet. Yeah, because we don't really need the money at the moment. The black market's pretty much pointless. And we could stand to get the plus one relationship with her, so Scarlet. And now we are friends. Yay. And Mina got an email for us. From... Marburg, I see. Uh, he suggests that he ask for additional money and use it to track down Agent Thornton. He thinks that we can do little to expose the nature of the museum bombing. Yeah, he's probably right. Uh, we can't go public, and if he did, who would believe him? That's a fair point. But we can likely do much harm to the organization. Apparently I'm reckless, emotional, and he questions my judgment. But he got... I got very, very close to stopping him. Nice. Now, I can't think of a single operative myself excluded, of course, in our organization with that much determination and perseverance. So basically, Marburg would like to kill us. <laughs> Feelings kind of mutual. So is there anything cool? No. No, because we never use those. No. Shotgun could be interesting. No. That advanced stealth armor, uh, not stealth armor, the utility armor, that is really tempting, but that sound dampening. Hmm. We might spring for it anyway. Uh, we don't need any gadgets. Alrighty. So let us head to Moscow and meet Grigori. He is one of my favorite characters in the entire game. He's very cool. So let us go to Moscow, to the safe house. Allons-y. Yeah, Grigori is one of my favorite characters. He's quite funny. Welcome to Moscow, Mike. How do you like your new apartment? It's nice. Limited access, secure building, high-speed internet. This will work just fine. Anything else? Like... Like the view? Oh, yeah. Could be a sniper risk. I might have to put up heavy curtains. Always the professional, Mike. Ain't I just? Alright, down to business then. Do you have a plan of attack for Moscow? I've got a few leads from Saudi to follow up on. We'll see where those take me. Sounds like a solid plan. What will you follow up on first? Not sure yet. The missile launchers were moved through Leningradsky Station. There might be intel there. I've it also could got be. a CIA informant codenamed Grigori and a mob underboss called Lazo. Finding those missiles is important, although more information would be helpful. But from his file, Grigori looks like the type who would sell information about you to interested parties. Lazo might be able to provide some leads too. Plus, they might Stress be able less. to tell me what bars and strip joints I can get along <laughs> here. If you're trying to make me jealous... I'm an international super spy. I have obligations. Just call when you have <laughs> anything new, hotshot. Bye. So yeah, you can annoy Mina with those sort of responses. But that's okay. She's still our friend. And it is quite funny. So, let us get some info about Grigori. Da, da, da. Contact Grigori. Costs us 10 grand, but that's okay. And we'll be aiming for a very specific uh, perk with him. He has three. One of them reduces how much gadgets cost for you. One of them reduces how much weapons and armor cost for you. And one of them, I think, just reduces how much intel costs for you. We want the one that is called Friends in Low Places. So we'll get that when we go see him. But for now, let's have a little look about Grigori himself. There he is. So we've got half his dossier. Uh, he's existed in the background of the seedier side of the city for decades. So he's an information broker, pretty much. An educated man, he received his degree in physics and philosophy interesting. And he graduated near the top of his class. 
He has a reputation for accuracy, but not for discretion, as he's reportedly willing to give up contacts and names and locations of anyone requesting information if the price is high enough. But he has a talent for what information to divulge to whom and for how much. He's gained and lost a small fortune as an information broker, apparently. Interesting. Though factions within Moscow haven't always been happy with him, his insider knowledge has kept him in good standing. Okay, that's interesting. And we got a bit of info about the mafia itself. So we got a third of that. Organized crime has a foothold... Oh. So it's pretty much just information about uh, the Mafia as it stands. You know, organized crime exists. Good job. Thank you, Sherlock Holmes. So, let us go see Grigori. Dimitri's Bar. Ah, Michael Thornton. Welcome to Moscow. Thanks, Grigori. Oh, like the traveler. Taipei, now fresh from Rome, yes? I'm a little jet-lagged, so don't think I'm rude if I don't share my travel plans with you. Terrible thing, bombings. Unless yes. the art they destroy is bad, then no loss. <laughs> there were losses and gains for a few people, which is why I'm here. I feel honored. Your first time in Moscow. And I am your first stop. What can I what say? What brings Michael Thornton, world traveler, to this humble bar? Do we have to jump right to business? I could really use a drink first. Then you are lucky you've come to a bar. Aren't I just? On cash, so you will have to make your own way. It's okay. Go I have money. Events going on in Moscow too. And here I thought we were not going to jump right to business. <laughs> Oh dear, that sounds bad. Uh, cough like that, this bar may not be the best place to hang out. Secondhand smoking. <coughs> I quit three times this month. Secondhand smoke is my way of getting by. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt your coughing or your drinking, but I wanted to know who Halbeck's friends are here in Moscow. What specifically do you wish to know? If they have friends at all? Well, now that is a question in itself. It is indeed. I want to know who Halbeck is working with. That is a difficult question. There we go. But I know someone who would know the answer. There is a man, Sir Guy Sirkov. He runs several businesses in Moscow. He may know who Halbeck is dealing with. Sir Guy Sirkov. Running a check on the name now. We're getting a lot of hits. He shouldn't be hard to find. Although, judging from his contact list, figuring out where his next appointment is could take some time. All right, I think we have time. Wait a little longer. And there's a few other leads I'd like to track down. You were planning to investigate Leningradsky Station, yes? Indeed we were. Do me a favor. A what favor. sort of favor? Your American missiles are not the only cargo that comes through the station. If you go, Maybe you could divert these shipments accidentally, of course. Of course. What, you mean change the shipping labels? And me without my label maker. <laughs> it is more simple than that. The box destination is stenciled on the side, but it is a code. Change it with a marker, and the boxes will end up somewhere else. To a friend of ours who will be happy to reimburse us, Maybe do a little business with you. Well, Sounds about. like a plan to me. Do that. And if you need a place to buy weapons, armor, devices, I can help you there too. I may not know Holbeck, but I know many others who are not friends of theirs. I'd appreciate that. What's the price tag for the reference? Directing a customer to a shopkeeper friend? No price tag. Just business. Hooray! Oh, thanks, Grigori. I appreciate it. Indeed, I, I do. I appreciate you not being an asshole when talking to me, Michael. Other agents, too stiff. Others, too much cowboy. 
you come to me as a human being should be rewarded, no? Hooray! So we got uh, the perk, friends in low places. If you treat Grigori by being stiff, as in profish, professional the entire time, he gives you his contacts, but he charges you for them. And if you are aggressive, you actually whack his head into the bar. And not only does he charge you, but he then increases the security when you go after another target later, because, well, what reason does he have to trust you? You just, you tried to kill him. So we got the best one out of that, pretty much. Friends in Low Places is a very, very good perk. So let's go see what our contact with the Grigori got us. And download our money from Scarlet. So... Weird, I thought pirates just existed in history books and bad porn. <laughs> nice, well played, Scarlet. Well played. Okay, and you can be archived, and Grigori... Ah, right, it's just saying, you are now on my friends list. You can buy stuff that I know about. Swell. So, he unlocked a few things here for us. Nothing particularly fantastic at the moment. Nothing we'll need for the next bit of the, um, the game. But what we will do is we will buy the info on assaulting Lazo's yacht. We could go to Leningradsky Station first, but I don't want to. I want to do Lazo's yacht because it's pretty short, and it's not bad um, as a mission because it unlocks another encounter afterward. So we'll just fix up our weaponry. Carrying explosives. We can carry one more thing. So what do we want? Shock trap. Oh, we have three of those, that's right. Uh, we don't really need any more first aid kits. We haven't really been shot lately, so that's all good. So, let's go to Lazo's yacht. Now, there is a specific uh, objective when we go to retrieve the data, and that is this one here. An intercepted email called attention to an electronic account accessible only from Lazo's laptop. If you do not buy that bit of information, you cannot get this objective. So if you want to do that, you need to buy the intel. And this one is actually pretty handy because um, we have shadow operatives, so we can be a little sneaky. Let's go do it. We're on a river. How lovely. I considered bringing the shotgun for this mission, but I decided not to. It's not accurate enough, we have no points in it, and hopefully we won't be getting into a firefight. I'm here. Now to find Lazo. Ooh. Oh dear. You are dead, son. So, this yacht is entirely possible to stealth your way through most of the mission. Unfortunately, when you get to the end of it, because of the encounter I said about earlier that I alluded to, you cannot actually complete it without uh, setting off an alarm of some sort. That's okay. We'll just try and be fairly sneaky. Huh. Oh. Oh, you have something there. Okay, so we could head in through that way, but you'd have to avoid the security camera. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to head upwards. We want Shadow Operative ready. And we're going to head up this ladder. Now, there is a fellow patrolling. But we should be able to pop up and then do this. Ooh. You dead, son. And we don't need to worry about this guy. Ooh. Facing the wrong way. Oh, hey, level up. Nice. We'll deal with that in a minute. Actually, no, we'll deal with it now. Might as well. So we leveled up, and Mikey, for some reason, ducked down a little bit there. Uh, what do we want? 
we could put points into this. Hmm. Let's go with pistol proficiency expert and some assault rifle focused aim fun. Yes, I am sure. Now, let us continue. This is the bridge. This thing here. We cannot go in there yet, so it's not important to us at the moment. What is important, however, is that there's a guy down there that I forgot about. So we'll head down from this way instead. Should be able to make it around him. Hello. You can get him secretly from this side, but it's a bit harder because you uh, enter on the side that he's favoring. We should get evasion for this if that guy hears us, but he didn't. Kustab. Ooh. $100. Yes, thank you. Alrighty. So we avoided the camera. Ooh. What are you? 3k? Uh, yes, thank you. Ain't he just? So we got some money, and we have to kill this guy before we do the entertainment system, because if we do not, we can't go hide. So one, two, three, four, five. Alright, entertainment system deactivated. Hide. And now we wait. So that pulls this this guy who's approaching us now. I don't think we can see him just yet with the third person wonderfulness. No, there he is. Brings him towards us. And now we can do that. He heard us coming, but he didn't see us. So now we can do this. Oh dear. You have to take those people out. But if you kill the prostitutes, Mina gets angry. Mafia members are fair game. So we will grab that 4,000. Thank you very much. We'll grab this ammo too. Subsonic rounds. Oh, I like it. And this is the laptop that does not appear if you do not take that sub-objective. So if you do not buy that intel, this laptop will not even appear. You cannot access it. Can we? Nope. Clicky clicky. Five grand is always welcome. And that dossier info cannot be obtained otherwise. You have to do it that way. That's okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wait until we've recharged our shadow operative because we will need it for this next part. Because Lazo is a boss, we will have to take him out quickly. And the only way we can do that quickly and silently is by using Shadow Operative, because otherwise the prostitute will see us, because our evasion will not last long enough, and we don't want to kill her. You might be able to do it if you get the quick animations, but generally when you want the quick animations, you won't get them, because the game hates you. <laughs> It's just what happens. But as you can see, he's got a very certain taste. This Lazo fellow, and he's just standing there, doing nothing, minding his own business. As you do. Let's be sneaky. Ooh. Take down. Dun dun dun. So, as you might have noticed by the dramatic music, there are bad guys. Oh hey, Featherweight Assault Rifle Club. That's nice. But these bad guys are not alerted. They just know we're around. Well, they suspect something is up. If you are caught or make noise while you're trying to kill Lazo, these guys are on alert. 